Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna, and today I want to show you how to solve this problem. Three semicircles touch each other and also touch the rectangle whose longer side is 36 centimeters long. We can see our rectangle here. The length of this side is given by 36 centimeters and inside we have these three semicircles, a big one, a medium-sized one and a small one and they touch each other and they touch the sides of the rectangle as well. The distances from the medium-sized and the small semicircle to the top long side of the rectangle are 5 centimeters and 7 centimeters respectively. So here they talk about these distances here that are given by 5 centimeters and 7 centimeters. What is the perimeter of the rectangle? Okay, this is the question. So we want to find the perimeter of this red rectangle and I call the perimeter P and we can find it by adding the four lengths of the sides of our rectangle. And we already know the length of this side here and the length of this side because it is given by 36 centimeters. So we have 36 plus 36 which equals 72. But then we also have to add the length of these two sides here. We don't know yet how long they are so we just call the length x here and here and if I add both lengths I have x plus x so I add 2x in here. So to find my perimeter I have to find the length of x. What do I know about my x? Well it is the height of my rectangle and if I go to this big semicircle here I know that the semicircle touches my rectangle here so I have the height of my um, rectangle here as well so this is of length x as well but this is automatically also the radius of my semicircle. So what do I know about the radius of this medium-sized semicircle? Well I know that the entire side is of length x and if I only want to have the length of this part I have to subtract the length of this here. So from the entire side from x I subtract the 5 to get this radius. So x minus 5 is this radius. And the same here with a small circle. If I want to know this radius I take the entire side the x and subtract this 7 part here. So this radius is of length x minus 7. Okay now I know the radius here, here and here and I also know that the radius is here again. This is my radius of length x as well. The same here I have the radius of x as well. Then because they touch each other I have x minus 5 as a radius next and also here x minus 5 then they touch each other again so my next part is of length x minus 7 and the last part here as well is of length x minus 7. How does this help us now? Well we know the length of the entire side so if I add all of these things here I have to get a result of 36. So I have 2 x here then I add 2 times these x minus 5 parts so I have 2 times and then I have to write the x minus 5 in parentheses and then I have 2 times my other part here so 2 times x minus 7 and all of this has to be equal 36 and this is an equation and I can solve this equation for x to find my perimeter then in the end. So let's take our equation and let's solve this for x. Maybe we get rid of the parentheses first. So we have our 2x here and then we multiply the 2 by every element in our parentheses. 2 times x 
equals 2x and 2 times negative 5 equals negative 10. Second parentheses, we multiply again. Each element is multiplied by the 2. 2 times x equals 2x and 2 times negative 7 equals negative 14. On the other side we have 36. Let's simplify a little bit. We have 2x plus 2x plus 2x which equals 6x in total and negative 10 minus 14 equals negative 24 and on the other side we have the 36. To solve for x we get rid of the negative 24 here so we add 24 on both sides of the equation so that we have the 6x here. This cancels out and on the other side we have 36 plus 24 which equals 60. To solve for x we divide both sides by the 6 here so that this cancels out and only our x is left. 60 over 6 equals 10. This is not our perimeter but the length of our x. We needed it for our formula here so we can insert a 10 for our x. We have as a perimeter 72 plus 20 which equals 92 and we solved our problem. I'm curious how you solved this problem so please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!